So this was us taking the speed train over to Hong Kong. Shenzhen is really close to the border and um, it took probably about 15 minutes on the speed train to get there. Uh, once we were there we got on their metro system and um, that was really nice. Um, and then we went to a mall to get me some shoes and this was a Lego store. Uh, really cute. That was a scene of Hong Kong. And this is just us walking around Hong Kong after we got out of the mall. Um, Hong Kong uh, was a little different feel. It's more east meets west, I guess, and um, a little cleaner, I think. Uh, there's definitely signs telling me not to spit on this sidewalk and, and um, you know, recycling and, and that kind of thing. Um, it's really busy. Uh, lots of people and uh, lots of tall buildings. But um, the, the people are a little more gracious, I think, and um, just it, it just had a different feel to it. It is pretty neat to see it because you see it in the movies so much, and it you know you really get a feel for that. I didn't even notice that little man laying on the sidewalk there, but anyway, um, it just. Uh, a oh, little man dropped his package. And, and see, they speak English. Um, so everything's in Chinese and English. And most people there can understand English. Um, and uh, we were just making our way over to Victoria Peak. We wanted to ride the tram up and, uh, and just do that. What up? Once again, I was just walking through the um, streets of Hong Kong, making our way over. Um, yeah, everybody's on their phone. That's, that's everywhere. That's universal, I think. So you definitely see a lot more um, foreigners there, or English, uh, and the little kids over there, that's their little school uniforms, they were really cute. But um, I was just walking along and here is this lady and she was older and she was, she was very hip. So anyway, I um, just thought that was pretty interesting, I, mean, I, think, I think that's kind of what you picture in Hong Kong, maybe. Um, an upcoming is the American Embassy, and it is right there, and that was just kind of nice seeing that. I made me feel like I was close to home, and this just is waiting. It was so hot, and the line was so long, and um, oh my goodness, it was so hot. But um, yeah, I think the humidity, um, whatever made it feel hot, but it was a long line to ride that thing. And this is uh, us being jam-packed, and they're waiting to ride the tram. Uh, they give you a little history lesson while you're waiting, but so many people don't do it if you're prone to not like crowds, because you were packed in there. And this is us riding to the top on the tram. Kind of reminded me of Lookout Mountain, Tennessee. Um, when you have the tram up there, but uh, I was also amazed at the tall, I mean, the skyscraper buildings that are built on the side of this mountain. Hong Kong is really hilly, and um, boy, they just build all over it. So you got those tall buildings right there that are just built on the side of that mountain. That just amazed me for some reason. Um, 
but yeah, you get you get packed in there, and uh, but I think I think it was good that we were kind of later in the day because we got to got to see um, the sunset and that kind of thing up there. So at this point, we had made it to the very top and got off the tram, and um, our tickets included round trip on the tram and also the Sky Terrace. And let me tell you, we just kept going up and up and up, and that's what this is. It's just us riding up this tra uh, riding up the escalators, and they do have that pretty view there. Um, but it's just escalators 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 all the way up several stories of them so this is us almost to the top um it was so crowded so crowded when we got to the top that i didn't take any videos but i did take pictures that's me and that's um what is that victoria harbor i think um, just some of the sights from up there it was just amazing and Merry Christmas we were there in December so um, yeah it was beautiful views amazing and um, so after we got done we didn't take the tram back down because it was such a long line that we took a taxi down uh, to the area called Soho uh, Leanna really liked the area and wanted me to see it and it was really neat we just walked around there and got dinner when we got back to Shenzhen, we uh, took a taxi because the um, metro was closed at that point. And this was just a little video of Leanna talking with the taxi driver. He was pretty funny and just had a great personality. Cool. 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 Cool.